multiple choice examination question. How many events are associated with the experiment of tossing a fair coin once? A, one, B, two, C, three, D, four, E, none of the above. Solution. Step one, write down the sample space, which is the set of possible outcomes. Step one, write down the sample space, which is the set of possible outcomes. The sample space is the set containing the elements heads and tails. Step two, list all of the subsets. Make it easy on yourself by listing the subsets in order of increasing cardinality. The cardinality of a finite set is the number of elements in the set. Therefore, the subsets are the empty set, heads, tails, heads or tails. The first set is called the empty set, which represents the impossible event. This is the sample space, which represents the certain event. And since there are four subsets, each representing an event, the correct choice is D. Remarks. If you picked B, then you are confused between the meaning of outcomes and events. Remember, an event is a subset of the sample space. That is the definition. An event is not defined as a thing that happens, as some Stats 101 students mistakenly think. Indeed, the empty set, which is a subset of every set, is an event of every experiment. The empty set represents the impossible event. This would be like tossing a fair coin once and getting Call of the Wild by Jack London. Since every set is a subset of itself, the sample space is an event of every experiment. The sample space represents the certain event. This would be like tossing a fair coin once and getting a head or a tail. Think about it. What else would you get? Conclusion. Know the difference between outcomes and events and remember that the empty set and the sample space are events of every experiment. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.